hey y'all welcome back to the channel my name is tommy i am in zone 8a in south carolina i hope that you enjoy this video of us starting our melon patch or melon mall i haven't figured out what i want to call it yet y'all so stay tuned i want to do it all with you by my side if you're in meet me here tonight be brave and come along It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights. enough space over here to hold the dirt in and here and on, on all the sides and it helps with this evergreen compost um, manure because they have lines that's running so I'm kind of just going down the line with it just like that same thing for this one right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it that way so there's one less thing on my editing that I have to do. See, these have like the lines going down, so I'm just kind of going down that line and right up under the letters, basically. Knife is not as sharp as I needed. I needed a blade, but they don't know what they did with it. So, I wanted you to see my husband did the cutting, um, but you know, he ain't about being on no camera, y'all. So, he'll be on camera enough to help me, but not to be on it, on it. Okay, so, I'm going down the side on this one. don't have to have a straight line but just try to leave enough bag so that your soil don't fall out of it and then I'm gonna start right here and just go straight across and that's it for that so let me show you what I did on the opposite side I should have did it before I cut it so if you could make it out I think I'm a true I hope that I'm able to zoom in when I did it um, I had him put holes in the back of the bag, just enough holes where, you know, you can get some worm action going. He cut the tarp, cause we was gonna pull the tarp up. Then when I explained to him what I was doing, he said, let's just cut the tarp around the bag. That way the soil is touching the, the bag of soil is touching the actual soil. And so here's your bag. And this is a compost manure. 
Um, what I'm going to do to try to make this a little more airy is to add a little bit of peat and a little bit of vermiculite. down here. I started these all from seed. I didn't even write down exactly what type of watermelon these are. Um, we're going to get something for these knees. Um, I'm going to block you. So I'm going to move this after I add some of these. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. the roots move around in that soil. Um, this is new to me. Um, I know some people say, excuse the plane y'all, I know some people say, you know, do it on a mound or some type of hill, but I want to see if this works. It worked for the person that I saw do it. Um, I got this idea from my sister, but she got it from uh, a YouTuber. And so far, her things are growing. Her melons are growing. And it's okay if you lose some soil. You just want it loose enough. You're not going to make it complicated. So I'm going to do my starts. This start right here. Um, I started this January 1st. It already has its true leaves on there and even more leaves coming on here. Oh, I forgot my, my bone meal. Hold on, y'all. This part is not necessary for you to do, but I personally just want to do it. This is bone meal, and then this bag is blood meal. bit of blood meal. Should have had my gloves. A little bit of bone meal. Mix that around in the soil. And then I'm going to take the start and get started. I was watering my yard waiting on my husband to help me. I am doing too much with my hand. Now, I'm just going to try to make it into a heel like while I'm doing it. So it's not, it's a fake heel, but it's a heel nonetheless. And I'm going to do one more in here. I don't want to do too many in here. I've been waiting to do this for so long, y'all. Um, the 23rd was supposed to be our last frost, and it turned out that it wasn't the 23rd. It was actually um, just a couple of days ago. Same thing applies here. Um, we're gonna loosen up the soil. No need to 
fertilizer. It's sitting in a bag of <laughs> manure and compost, so. Mix that in. Doesn't have to be good mixed, just enough. Y'all, I use that 511 um, to fertilize my plants and vegetables for the first time. I've never used that before. And immediately when I noticed it after I finished, the flies were everywhere. A lot of people love to use it and that's good. Um, I don't know if, I mean, I only have to use it every three weeks. So I'm not gonna say I won't use it again, but I'm really thinking hard on it <laughs> because of those flies. Yeah, this one can hold three. I mean, they all could probably hold three. You could even do a row here, um, but I'm not trying to grow it out that way. I'm trying to control my vines going that way. Try not to disturb the roots because they don't like it. And just kind of mound it up press it down and mound it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one here. Okay. So y'all, for the other two over here, I'm going to be doing cantaloupe. And then I'm also going to be doing some crimson. I think these are crimson also, but I'm going to be doing some more crimson, but from seed um, into that bag just to see which way grows better and then in each of the bags i'll be adding some sunflowers and that's to help bring my pollinators over to this area as well water before you start watering because my hose keeps my water up to a really hot temp. It's really hot right now. So gotta let that cool off. I mean, it's like you can take a shower with the hot water. Me 
so y'all update to the video um i added these three right here and we got the wrong one my husband picked up the wrong one when i didn't pay attention and he threw these three on here so this is topsoil so i'll be planting just directly same way in the bags but it's just topsoil no different than if you were doing it in something else you're just doing it out of the bag um it's watermelon over here watermelon here cantaloupe here cantaloupe up there and sunflowers are also planted in each of the bags and i will give y'all an update probably in another two weeks to three weeks thank y'all for joining me here on tommy's homestead garden and remember when you sow something you will grow something no matter what it is you'll grow it if you sow it so y'all take care like subscribe comment share I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, you can go out and spread God's love with distance, not hate. Love others like you would want God to love you. Bye. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in me, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world so just say yes choose to do whatever comes next <laughs>